Southend United saved from the dead. Southend is a city in Essex, and it's not just known for their beaches, because they also have a good football club. So let's go into detail. Southend United, formed in 1906, have been saved on the brink of going bust. Well, let's take a look back in time and see how this all started. Southend United, a club playing in League 2 in 2009 to 2010, but soon they were struck with financial problems they escaped this time. In COVID-19, ugh, we don't want to go back there. Anyway, continuing, in COVID-19, Southend were in League 1, but soon got relegated into League 2 after struggling financially. No, this wasn't the worst of it, as it soon got worse. Southend soon weren't paying wages, and this led to them being in debt by a lot. So, because of this, Southend soon got relegated from League 2 down to National League, where they are currently playing right now. In September 2022, Southend were placed under transfer embargo. This was due to a missed payment. This soon led to more contracts not being paid. The club then seeked for a £5 million loan to pay this all off. This made the fans create a group to try and sell the club to another owner. With the club still in major debt, they were falling to pieces. On August the 23rd, they got a point deduction. But on the 3rd of October 2023, this all changed. The club was sold to a man called Justin Rees. Financial problems still did not change and they stayed still. But despite this, after 15 months, on the 28th of December, Southend United's transfer and Brago was lifted. So now you've heard about Southend getting their club back, let's move on to the opposition today, Gateshead FC. Gateshead, only being formed in 1977, currently sit 8th in the National League. Despite being a club for nearly 50 years, the small town in Newcastle have never been a football league club. And before anyone gets too carried away, Gateshead may play in black and white, but they are not Newcastle United. Though, Gateshead's record attendance was 11,750 and it was against Newcastle United. Gateshead currently sit higher in the table, but with them making an absolute whale of a trip, I don't know what will happen today. I guess the only question I can ask is, who will win? Now let's get to Roots Hall. Yes, and we are here outside Roots Hall, South End United football ground and I think it's going to be a brilliant game today because Gateshead are obviously pushing for playoffs and so to be fair Southend without their 10 point production would be up there as well. I think today I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Southend because we're in the home end. We'll see you in there. Now we're heading into the ground let's have a little look how we got up here today. This looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it, going up these stairs? Oh my god, this reminds me so much of QPR. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, this is exactly QPR, you can't tell me. Oh, look at this. Compact, look at all them gatehead fans in there. Looks about 10 of them. Well, to be fair, Southend have sold out most of the home end. There's a few gaps, but for National League, decent attendance. But for Gateshead, well, it was a long journey, we'll give them that. Now we're inside, time for some Big Andy Facts. Yes, it's Saturday, and where would we not be? 
Well, we're at the football again, and today is the National League. Now, the National League is a National League. And if I look at today's fixture, South NV Gateshead, Gateshead have actually got a trip on their hands of 295 miles and five hours of travel just to get there. So it'll be interesting to see today just how many Gateshead fans make today's game. Good luck to them. And a bit about today's fixture, starting with South End United. Now they were formed in 1906, they're known as the Shrimpers, and they play at a ground called Roots Hall. And as far as Gateshead are concerned, they're a re-established club, a club that was re-established in 1977. Um, they were previously in the Football League between 1930 and 1960, and the closest they've got back to getting back to the NFL was they were in the playoff final in May 2014, but actually lost it in the end. 2-1, 2, guess what? Cambridge United. You play quality mascot, that shrimp for the shrimpers. About to be a minute silence. As you can see over there, that seems to be the singing stand for South End. I'm sorry, this has got to be a bit of a joke. Look how much space. I'm a kid, mate, and my knees are touching the other seat. Come on. There is a drum in that home section of fans over there, and it's going off over there. Ten minutes in now, and South End have really been dominating the game. Gates have need to wake up. Probably the best chance of the game that really, but you could be doing a bit better from that, come on. This is a good position for a free kick that steps up. Oh good save from the keeper. Superb chance. Gotta get this from target and it could be a goal. Oh Unlucky. It's goal time. Come on. Ball in. Oh! Unlucky again from South End. One of these has got to go in. And that's the half. Very boring. Half time here at South End, and it's been a pretty boring half. It's currently nil nil. Not much really happened. A few shots for South End, a few shots for Gateshead. Both sides are very even, but I feel like the goal is coming. And I feel like once the deadlock is broken, this game's really going to open up. Here at South End, you don't really get much choice what you want for food. So I hope you're not a vegetarian, because all they really do is a burger. Well, it's pretty bang average, if I'm being honest. I'm going to give it 4 out of 10. Proper singing over there, clapping and everything. The drum is going off. Here come Gateshead. Oh, oh, brilliant save from the keeper, but it's not cleared fully. And now it's clear. Goal. Trying to work it into the box here. Oh, here they go. Cuts back. Shoot. Oh. And again. Oh, what a save from the keeper. And it's in at the third time. He's put it away. And Gateshead, a 1 0 up. The five of them that are over there celebrating. And it is Gateshead 1, South End 0. What a save from the keeper. And it's in at the third time. He's put it well, 58 minutes played here, and it is 1 0 to Gateshead. I mean, they're piling on the pressure and they've just put it in at the third time. They've just kept striking and no one's gone to clear it. Poor from South End, but they're really to up it. South End trying to come back in the game now. They're having a few chances. I feel like a goal is coming. Just pause right there. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. If you'd like to join us and help our journey, make sure to subscribe. Anyway, back to the video. South End fans are not happy. Charlie, you don't know what you're doing because the ref has just given a decision against them. Eight minutes have been added on here. Here we go, ball whipped in, headed. Oh! Very unlucky. A goal is coming for South End, I believe it. Ball whipped in again, headed. Oh, and it's hit the crossbar. Very unlucky again. 
South Bend are really going for it now in these last eight minutes. They're pushing for this equaliser. Hey, and that is it. Full time. Dead one, South Bend nil. Full time here at South Bend and everyone is charging out. They're not happy because in a game where they could have got something from it, from the chances they had, well, they hit the crossbar at the end, but they've gone and lost it. Gateshead came, all they wanted was a 1 0 or something like that. Because on a big journey like this, that's all you need is that one chance to put away, and they did that. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bosh! I'm going to be in the sport of dogs.